and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are having a lovely day. If you are new here, hello, my name is Scarlett and welcome to my channel. So today's video is actually a secret that I've been keeping for a little while and it may actually come as a bit of a surprise to you. However, it is a very exciting video and something that has been on the cards now for a little while and that is moving Ringo to a brand new yard. So today is the day, finally, I've been counting down the days for this day but today is the day that he finally moves. Now I'm sure there will be many questions as to why we are moving and I will not be answering them however just know that where Ringo is going he will be so much happier and he will just have a better life in general. Not only that but it is a lot closer for me from where I live it will only take me around 15 to 20 minutes to actually get to the yard which obviously makes life a lot easier for me. He can also have full day turnout if he wants to as well. I think that's something that he's actually missed quite a lot. He absolutely loves his field time so to have the option to have all day turnout for him as well is fantastic. The staff are wonderful, they're all so smiley and accommodating and you turn up and just feel really really comfortable and at home and at the same time it's a really really beautiful yard. So the facilities at the new yard are amazing and I will give you a little tour once we get to the yard as well once I've got Ringo in the lorry and we're on our way. As it stands at the moment there's an American bar for the liveries and an outdoor arena. However, there are currently two more arenas being built. We have a 60 by 50 arena going in, which is currently being built by Roa and Rob, and a second outdoor arena. So at this yard, they are mainly show jumping. So there is a dressage arena being built where there won't be any show jumps. And there is also an indoor arena, which will be a bit of a mixture between jet dressage and show jumping. Not only will there be three arenas in the next couple of months, there is also going to be an all weather gallop track with a cross-country course going around the perimeter which personally I cannot wait for even if I'm not wanting to gallop or do cross-country just be able, just being able to go for a little walk after a session I think is going to be so lovely so as many of you may know I have actually owned Ringo coming up to 14 years next year we bought him as a yearling for 250 pounds and however low that price may be to me Ringo is priceless and his happiness and his welfare are the most important things to me and they always have been. That is my number one priority and I will always stick by that. I have very strong morals, we all have different morals in this world, however my morals personally are always with Ringo and you know his, his happiness and his welfare will always come first. To me he's not a machine, he's not a competition machine, he's not a money making machine, he is my pet, he is my baby and for him being happy and having a fantastic life and lifestyle is the most important thing to me and for me. If he's happy, I'm happy. So that is why we are moving yards and as I say he can have all day turnout. So he is going to be extremely happy being outdoors, having lots of fresh air, he's not going to be bored. This yard is so lovely, there is so much going on. We're also going to be learning to show jump so do keep an eye on my channel for some jumping lessons and progression in jumping coming up. As you may know I'm not a jumper and I actually don't like jumping. However, I may be tempted to change and he loves it. So even if I'm not the one doing it, I'm gonna get somebody else to teach him as well. And it's just going to be extremely fun. And also it's a new start, it's a fresh beginning. It's just before the new year, which I think is a really, really great time to, to do this. We're gonna be competing lots in the new year. We're also so much easier com competing wise. We're literally near, near enough straight out on the motorway so we can go in any direction really, really easily where we are going. There are absolutely no hard feelings anywhere. This is a really positive and exciting move. As I say, it's something that's been on the cards for a while for a number of reasons but you know the fact that it's nice and close to my home and he can have all day turnout is you know a really really big benefit to where we are going and I really hope you enjoy this video I hope you guys can be supportive in my decision and on that note I will see you at the yard. Handsome, hello. Have you been asleep? Have you? We can't forget your toy, can we? You like that. Hey, you've got to pack everything up. I've forgotten to bring a big bag, actually. I might need to get one out of my car. Hey, get you ready in a minute. So, all I've really got left to take today is what's in here. So it's his two bridles, his double bridle and his everyday bridle. My boot bag, everyday grooming kit, saddle, saddle pads and hat. That's everything up here. And then all of this down here, I'm just going to pop in a bag. It's just like shampoos, tack cleaning stuff, which we don't need anymore because tack cleaning is included. It's amazing. 
um, snacks and things like that. So I'm just going to pop all of that in a bag. And this is all stuff that I don't need for a little while. So it's things that I can organise afterwards. But in terms of just packing away things, this is all that's really needing taking out today. So I've just got some bags, um, which I'm just going to pop everything into. I'm hoping two bags is going to be enough, actually. They're not the biggest of bags. Check that my neat for oil is definitely closed before that goes everywhere. Just imagine. Tech cleaning, sweat scraper, that can go in the bin, that's pretty much empty. Um, they can come with, they've got another couple of nooses in them. Oh yeah, I'll definitely get it in two bags. So I've got a couple of bits and pieces actually outside Ringo's stable door, which will also need just a bag to take. Spare gloves, hairbrush, lip balm, saddle cleaning stuff. That's all I think that's realistically going to fit in there. I need that for the journey for Ringo and the trailer. That on the horse box. Um, and then that and that in there. And then the rest of that outside his door can go in there. That is clean. I'm actually really glad I cleaned these the other day because they are spotless. And then that can go in there. That's perfect. Okay, so now I've got all the odd bits sorted. I'll take out our saddle pads. They're good to go up there. We take out his saddle and new girth. Bridle one. So I need to literally clean these the last time I rode, and it's surprising how just one ride makes things so dirty. Um, and then double bridle. I'm excited. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Um, and boot bag. Oh, bungee. Boot bag. Grooming kit. Up there. And my hat. And I will just do a double check in there, but I'm pretty sure that is now everything. Okay, guys, so I've literally got everything all by the door ready to go and just waiting now for the horse box. I'm just gonna get Ringo out and put him under the solarium while I put on his boots and travel things, and then we're good to go. Dingo! Can't forget your hay net, actually, can I? But I'll move that in a second. That can be something to take out as soon as the lorry gets here. Come on to your handsome head, hey? I'm excited, I'll give you a good brush as well, actually. To get my grooming kit back out. Come on, handsome. You have your hay net in a minute. Yeah. Where's your lead rope gone? Hmm? It's a good job you're a good boy and can be led like this, like a little donkey, isn't it? Yeah, you're the best to be led. Hmm. Under here for the last time, baby boy. Yes. It's so exciting. Gorgeous, aren't you? I don't think you're actually going to need this big rug because your new stables are all heated. They've got central heating in the stables, yeah. You'll be warm. I think you're just going to want like a thin rug. Yeah, because you could have got them clipped. I don't think you'll be growing any coat. You'll be all tucked up. The camera round again so we can see you a bit better. Let's zoom in a bit because you're a bit far away there. There we go. <laughs> Let's get this over. Get you feeling nice and clean and fresh. Right, let's get that brushed over. You are not be excited. I actually don't have a clue what's going on. That mane is literally so close to going over on that side now. So exciting. And you're not moving near water either, so you shouldn't itch when you move either, which is amazing. You stay keeping, stay keeping your mane. Yeah. It's just incredible, actually, isn't it? Right, I can get your boots. Little booties. Your rubber furs keep you warm. It's cold in here. It's not actually as cold as when it was yesterday, thank goodness. Moving on a nice day. There's no ice on the roads. Hey? What a good day to move. See? Not slippery on them roads. 
<laughs> you handsome head. You're such a good boy. Put that on. It's such a smart rug. Isn't it? <laughs> You're the best. I'm so happy for you. on and then I'll go and fold up your rugs and you're all ready to go and I don't think we've forgotten anything with a bit of luck one two three four I'll pick that one's on first oh Feet. Oh, I haven't brushed your tail actually. I'll do that in a second. Chauffeurs of the day I, I have arrived. <laughs> Coffee's in hand. Both mascots in there as well. <laughs> and it's time to go. Say bye, Dingo. Yeah. Oh, nice food. Yeah. Yeah, new home. Yeah, I'll go and get your stallion train so you've got that as well. Do you want to move your bottom in? Come then. Move round. Move over. Oh, a nice hay net. Look at that. How do I move this over? Oh, yes, I do. Very cross. Very cross. Good boy. So I'm going to be following on behind in the car, but Ringo is now off, he's off to his new home, bless him. Darling! Good boy! Where are you then? It's your new home! <laughs> Look at this! Dingo Bear! Christmas decorations. I think the first one, perfect. Thank you. <coughs> yeah. It's your new bedroom. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, good boy. Good boy. It looks like the heaven is about to open any second, doesn't it? So it's gonna, it is warmer, yeah, thank goodness. It's so cold yesterday, it was, yeah. Lovely, isn't he? he is, he's a gorgeous boy. Hello. He's so friendly. Hello. Look at this look of yours. <laughs> he's a chunk. Look at this chunk. <laughs> 13 two and in six foot three rugs. Yeah. <laughs> he's smelling all the horses. Yeah. Smelling all the horses. That's for your dinner when it comes at lunchtime. You get lunch here as well. You're going to get lunch. There's your hay. <coughs> or haylage. <laughs> Automatic drinker over here, Dingo. These are really good because they just fill up the second they start to get low because the only thing he didn't like before was having to have to push it because he's scared of water. Um, so we had to have a bucket. So here these are all automatic, which is so handy. Oh, darling. It's got a little window as well. You can see out into the arena. Mm, clever boy. He got his new house and there's a Christmas tree right outside his stable. How cute is that? Hey, good boy. I'm going to go and talk to everybody now. Oh, wait for a minute. <laughs> All of our stuff away into our little sections. And I can change his travel rug into his stable rug in a second. So he's settling in so well. He's actually only, only winnied once so far, bless him. He's got so much hay, so he's absolutely buzzing with all the foods. Um, so yeah, he's settling in really well. He's actually staying in now. Let me turn you around, actually, I'll talk to you. <laughs> So he's actually staying in now for the afternoon. It's actually just started snowing as well, which is just so magical. And we've got the Christmas tree right outside of his stable. There's, I'll show you guys around in a second, but there's lights the whole way around. The school is in Christmas lights. Oh my God, it's like so magical. Um, so yeah, he's staying in for this afternoon now, um, but going on the horse walker later just so he can have a leg stretch. And then he starts the normal routine here in the morning. Um, He's going on the standard routine that everybody else is at the moment, but they have said, like, if you want his own special routine, even if it changes week by week, honestly, they're so accommodating. It's incredible. They're just so lovely. Um, so I already just feel, like, really, really happy here. Um, so, yeah, so he's going out first thing after his breakfast in the morning. He's got the horse walker first and then goes out in the field. And then we we're kind of just kind of going to play it by ear to see how he is. So if he wants to go out for a few hours, in for a few hours, and out for a few hours, if he's stressed or whatever, um, it'll take two or three days and he'll be absolutely fine out all day. But um, they're just going to play it by ear and he can come in for a few hours, go out for a few hours. Um, and, yeah, I'm so happy. And he just automatically looks so happy. He's having a little look out of his door, having a look at seeing what's going on. Funny you, baby. You happy boy? Are you? Shall I put your toy in with some treats? That's your water. Are you going for a drink? No, you're not thirsty? You're going to sniff your shavings? Are you done a poo? <laughs> you good boy. He's a happy man. You're a good boy. All the dinner. Some of his little treats in his Christmas present from Shires, actually. And I'm gonna give that a good rattle around and have some sweeties. Good boy. Take your little rugs over. I've just put all my stuff away, Dingo. We've got lovely space for everything. Yes, we do. Put your nice rug on. There's a shiny horse. Have you got your toy? Have you found your toy? It looks like it's been knocked over a bit. It's played with. Have you got your sweeties in there? Yeah. Got itch. You have an itch, my darling. Come here a second then. Makes it easier, doesn't it? Putting it over your head. You're a good boy. <laughs> good boy. Oh, where's that? That <laughs> probably wasn't the most flattering angle, me just sat like that. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, there you go, you're tucked up in your nice cosy rug. He is very chilled. He's not quite stallion stallion though, is he? He's not chilled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's more oh, like a gelding. Like a stallion. 
So I've, I've owned him for 13 years, yeah. and so he's only ever stayed a stallion. So I started riding him when I was about 11. Um, and the only reason he stayed a stallion is because he doesn't work at guarding anyway, otherwise yeah. he would have had his balls off. So he is, um, you're an angel, aren't you, once you settled in? <laughs> Having a hay top up already. <laughs> Good boy. Nice hay lich. Can I have some more? That's tasty. That looks tasty, doesn't it? That looks like lovely hay lich. Put all of Ringo's little bits up on his little section here, and as I said, I'm going to bring his, well, my trailer here as well to pop all of like everything that's in my car basically in there and keep everything nice and neat and tidy. So this is the arena that we have at the moment. There's two other arenas currently being built. We have a massive indoor being built and a dressage arena as well. I think the indoor is like 60 by 50. Um, so that's going to be amazing next year. So this is the current arena. We're definitely going to be getting Ringo show jumping. I've already kind of booked in a bit of a show jumping masterclass um, for Ringo to, to learn because I'm not very good, but he loves it. So as long as I'm not the one doing it, <laughs> I'm all happy. Something I really love actually when Ringo goes out for his lessons is the size of the mountain block because you literally just plop on and it's super, super easy. So yes, that's the arena. And then obviously this is the stable barn and all the Christmas lights are all hanging up here so that will eventually all go on so I'm just carrying his whip because I'm going to put that outside of a stable door um, I don't just usually walk around with a whip in my hand um, so that's obviously all the windows shut at the moment because it's so cold um, but yeah all these Christmas lights go on at night time oh it's just so lovely and I'll take you for a little walk around the fields before I show you around the stables as well so the horse walker is in there, so Ringo's going on there this afternoon and he's going on there every single morning before he gets turned out. And then these are the fields, so the fields are all floodlit as well all the way down the middle, so if you're ever bringing in in the dark or anything like that, all the lights all come on. And they're all, uh, all post and railed with also electric as well that runs off the main, so it means that Ringo can also have a friend next to him in the field, which I think actually he'll really enjoy. Um, so yeah, so all the fields they go all the way down to the bottom of the tree line, and then there's some opposite as well where the new facilities are being built as well. There's also going to be a gallop track and cross country course put in as well which oh my god I literally cannot wait for that to be built so I'll now take you back through round to the stables so this is a stable barn so we've got wash bays and tie up bays in there this is the solarium stable so it's actually really nice that you can shut the door in there as well and um, so the solarium's up in there apparently tomorrow as well everything's being painted or repainted as well um, which is amazing this is the little Christmas tree and then Ringo is opposite the Christmas tree. Hi! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You're so happy aren't you? You're so chilled out. You've literally not made any noise. And there's also Christmas decorations on the front here as well which is so cute and again lights all the way round. Look at the tree! <laughs> 
so yeah and then in here is the toilets and lockers so i'm just gonna pop my whip down that pocket there in my boot bag and then so far in my locker i've just got my hat um because i really, don't really need anything else in there because it's outside the stables we have these boxes like this um sorry move my, move my coffee that i've just had um but in here i've got things like just instant access to brushes if i ever need them so included in my livery now he's also being brushed anyway but if i'm just coming up in the afternoon and want to dust him off i've got all my brushes a spare head collar and some deodorant <laughs> oh and i think i've got a spare pair of gloves in there as well just in case my hands ever get super freezing Have a look at his window. Bobby boy. He's so happy he's having a drink. Let's go and see him. I just can't believe how chilled out you are already. Huh? Okay. Hi. Oh, you got your hay everywhere. <laughs> Good boy. Clever man. Yeah. So something else actually that is so so lovely here is all the stables are heated so um, they don't actually need super super thick rugs on at night because the heating comes on. Both shutter doors like either side get shut down as well and if I turn you around that was the most unflattering angle of myself. Um, these red lights come on at night as well so that they always have like lights and things in the evenings. Um, and the Christmas tree lights down on night as well. So he's, um, he's going to be able to see if he wants to see. And he's got heating. Apparently they like to lie down on the floor because it's underground heating. And it keeps their, their bodies warm. <laughs> stables over there um, and that has quite a few stallions actually in it and then it goes all the way back around so I'm finally home after dropping Ringo off at his new home and I just feel like the stress has just gone oh, right over my head I feel like moving a horse sometimes is quite stressful um, especially a stallion but he was just oh my god like an angel um, he whinnied once maybe twice I think once um, and he got stuck straight into his hay and just just chilled out so yeah his his afternoon is just a horse walker and then his his normal routine starts tomorrow oh my goodness I'm just I just feel really really happy already the staff are so happy and everyone is like smiling and it's just it just seems like a really really lovely place to be they're gonna get Ringo jumping which is so exciting as well um I've kind of already had held my hands up and said I'm not passing if I'm a jump in so don't worry we'll teach him um because he absolutely loves it and he's got a really good pop in him as well because the uh, the owner of the yard came up to me a minute ago and said um he looks like he's got a jump and I said he has um I I just haven't um so yeah it's just really exciting it's gonna be really different for him as well and give him something else to think about and obviously when the when the gallops are up he can go for a canter on the gallops or even a walk after a session and the indoor as well um and a second outdoor there's gonna be two outdoors one indoor a gallop track with a cross-country course running around one side of it as well um oh, it's just gonna be amazing that's currently being built at the second actually um so yeah oh my god i'm tired i wake up at four o'clock this morning just in just with, just with a little bit of anxiety so i'm just whew, just chilled that the whole day's done it's over i'm going to leave him to a set of this evening and then jump on him tomorrow so i'll film that as a like first day of ringo and his new home or something i might even put it over a few days actually um see how much content i get on the first day oh my god i'm just looking in my viewfinder and i look tired I look like I've aged like a hundred years. I literally haven't really slept over the last few days. I've just wanted to been counting the days down for this day that he's just out and in his new in his new home and it's just all over and done with and I can whew, just chill. I've just gone into Waitrose and treated myself to some sushi for some TLC. I think I, I've earned it. I've not actually even had time to eat yet today and I've had a coffee. So like I'm almost a bit shaky where I've got like no food in my system and caffeine. Um, so I've got some food. I also treated myself to one of their really nice cupcakes as well. So I'm going to sit down and eat that. And then chill, basically. <laughs> but thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you in my next one.